subscribers. What are they? They're your community. The people that want to support you enough that they hit that little button. Say subscribe. They hit the bell. And let them know, hey, this guy just posted. Give me what Jose just posted. Yeah, just like this video. Are you subscribed? Listen, I have 549 subscribers. So, I want that to go way up. Way up. So how do you feel about helping me get to more subscribers, huh? What would that do? That would help me become a monetized YouTuber, allow me to get paid from YouTube, and just build this community even more. So what do you say? Help Jose today. Today's game, Pierce to Fathom Woodbury Gateway. I've played, okay, so I've played Home Alone, played Norwich Hitchhike, Carson House, Iron Bark Lookout. Iron Bark Lookout, I did on stream for Halloween last year. If you missed it, I'm sorry. Actually, if you missed it and you want to see it, I can still post it. Like this video and comment down below. Post it. It was a great video, just just saying. If you wanna see it, I'll post it. If it gets 15 likes. I'm excited to play it, let's get into it. There are always bangers, always. So let's get into it. Episode five, Woodbury Getaway, December 8th. Kinda of close to December 8th. Need a coffee to get done with the day. Coffee to get done with the day? He sounds like me. That's crazy. Look at this. Nobody else in the office but myself? Crazy. Guess we know I'm the only hard worker in this bitch. Go to the Keurig, yes. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. Uh, uh. My hands were full, so throw that bitch. Yep, place that shit. Put that in there. What do I, what do I oh, water. Okay. Where do I get the water from? Let me use this one. I did throw it. I love how interactive this game is. Let's put the same cup, you know, because it was on the floor, but we we threw it on the floor. Cream and sugar. You know, it depends on what I'm feeling, okay? I can have my coffee black. I have espresso shots. Or I'll put the most cream and the most sugar that there is. Let's, let's put some... Ooh. Never had coffee without creamer. Caffeinated and creamy. Need to put a lid on it. Why do you need to put a lid on it though? You're just going back to your desk. Yum. Needed to use the restroom immediately. You know, that's the thing with people. They'll use the, I mean, they'll drink coffee and use the restroom right away. They're like, oh, need to run to the restroom. I'm like, damn, you can't wait like two seconds. Am I a man or a woman? Does it matter? Oh, I am a woman. Can I like... Somebody left a fucking can right there? Let's uh, drop this. Okay, wait. I'm so confused right now. Using the bathroom, whole ass coffee. That bar is insane. Of course, of course. I have to go out. Oh, you bitch! Oh, 
Oh my god! I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It's okay, or how are you? I would have said, you bitch! Like, you get the... Why did you run at me like that? It's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You know, I noticed that there was a freaking little... The, his little cubby thing right there, too. So I assumed it was him. <sighs> you working late again, huh? You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too. Mm -hmm. Fucking hoe. Get his ass fired. Call for harassment. Oh, there is somebody else. Do you mind? Some of us are actually trying to work here. I threw my cup at him, bitch. That was the most aggressive jump scare I've had in such a long time. I was not prepared for that at all. One second. Oh. Go for Sydney Harper. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Oh, My battery dies at the I worst time. starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I didn't even cut in. No, we didn't even cut out on the client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Shut the fuck up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was gonna do it after work. No worries, Harper, I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Cool. Hey, I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Hmm, interesting. I don't know this guy yet. You no, know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Let's do sounds good, okay? You know, that's what I would say. Sounds good. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. All right. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. All right, sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Okay. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Yeah, professional yapper. All right, talk to you later, Harp. All right, peace out, bitch. Are we booking the rental right now? Apache Synergy, Velocity Grow, Outroth Capital... What do I type in? Uh, rental. Rent, rent, what? Rental. Why space A or C? Rental. What? Uh -huh, it's typing in for me. Okay. Find your place to say, where are you going? Woodbury. Search. 350 a night, 249 a night, 199 a night, 99 a night, 59 a night, 199 a night. Book cabin, 99 a night. It's pretty good. Oh, look at all the amenities. It looks pretty well. Three guests, two bedroom, two beds. It's almost absolutely perfect for our situation. Let's look at the reviews. No, only 3.1 stars. I don't know. Obviously, we had to do it because what else were we going to do? Hey, I'm seeing you get hundreds of not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. Sorry if some of it written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was, what, was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. Job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested we take it a weekend together to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from cycle of work. 
and my other friend Noro was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close, close our shift early Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Is this Mike? With the PSP? What are we doing? Where? Michael J. Carter. Who the fuck is this? Afternoon. Quite chilly, eh? Seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on 8th. How do you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. Wait. What? What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? We got a consulting firm. Let's just, anyways. We have a great rest of your day. We need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. Pulling into the cargo garage now. You down? I'm here. I didn't pick up her. Uh, what? Rent to cabin. Hi, Sydney. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward. Yes, that's correct. The code is 5176. It's booked. Hold up. I saw a heart. Should we read this? Yeah, let's do it. Mike! I'm literally so tired. I was just about to turn in for the night. What about you? Nothing else. Give me these throat. How's it working with the firm? Pretty well. Anyway, think about our chat from earlier today. Oh, Mike. Like, I, I don't really know. Getting away sounds fun, but I'll see you so What? But I'll be so much work to get packed and leave for the weekend. All I'm going to do is think about work. I should be getting done at the office. Listen to yourself, Harp. Talking about a nice, relaxing getaway. And all you're focusing is how to make relaxing. I haven't had a real break in ages, Mike. I'm not sure I remember how to relax anymore. I work all day, and when I get home, all I think about is work. I didn't get finished. It's just hard to unplug, you know? And that's exactly why you should come. Think of it this way, Sydney Harper. You're like a battery, full of power and productivity. But what happens when you run the battery too long? This is charge. We gotta put you back on the charger, Harp. You'll go back to work with even more energy than ever. 20% more productivity, I bet. Come on, who knows? Maybe you'll thank me later. I don't like that base that he put. Really don't, but whatever. Plus, Nora's really about excited about it. It really wouldn't be the same without you. Sorry, I passed out last night. Damn it. Fine. Alright, I'll check in with HR and let you know. Take your time, Harp, but just you know whenever you decide we're here for you. Harp. Hug. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Just a test like to see if you smell first. Yep. Fair enough. For the record, shower just for the occasion. Nothing too good for Sydney Harper. Haha. -ha. Long hug. You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Let's go then. Shit. What a gentleman. Damn. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's. Oh, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route to the city would have been a detour for her anyway. Alright then, Harp. I hope Nora pulls up. Okay, I'm already I'm already iffy about all of this. He clearly likes me. I'm alright without him. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sensing, I'm sensing, I'm sensing one side relationship here. Okay? It's giving uh untrusting. It was starting to show. What? Snow. Is that Woody? Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now we're here. Now here we are, trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Couldn't wait to get out of the real world, wonder how that works. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world, work, you know, sucks sometimes. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust a new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? 
We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what even consult what consultants even do. Consult. That sounds like important work. Rick. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a conference. Oh. Hey, wait, wait, hold up. I'm trying to. Can I? Uh, not really. Right. I guess the only good thing that came out of this college was us. What, what is happening? Why is there a school bus there? Did you see that? Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. By the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning into a new tiny. What? Turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read about people do that on the internet. Alright. What? The Rose Woodbury? Please let me know. We're on our way. Should be there by 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check. It's travel safe. Damn. I feel like I'm reading like so fast. Oh, snap. That was close. Came out of nowhere. It was like in the road the whole time. You know, I read on the internet in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. What the fuck do you mean by that? Hey, you're already weird as it is. Don't be saying some dumb stuff like that, okay? This music is very deceiving. How far is it now? Are we even close? How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Literally me? I would go, I would just look at him like, Look at the way snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Not really. <clears throat> it's kind of beautiful. You know, I do enjoy that as well. I've only been in snow like once, but it is pretty cool. We'll see how everything is. 5.14 p.m. So we should almost be there, right? Airy Mart. Yo, Harp, check that out. What? Moe's Pizza? 802-700-5555. Are we getting out? No, Harp, I gotta tell you. These new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it's appearing on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself, too. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Bro, like, be normal, please. Like, for two seconds. This is all stuff I would say, probably. And I'm not normal. So, cheese, veggie. How, veggie? How do you run out of salami? Ooh, a calzone? I'm about to get a calzone. Thank you. Mana and Harp. Thank you. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's hey, check bitch in ass. Field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Uh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. Okay. Like, that fool's going around asking people for stuff. He's going to pop up later on. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. We'll go with pepperoni cheese and a veggie. What if I don't want that shit? Oh. For you, miss, I want cheese, pepperoni, and a margarita. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover that should cover us. Just a piece of today, thanks. Alright, then six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty two fifty. I'll pay for it. I got you. I got you. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you when the pizza's ready. You know? He is short. This guy's gonna pop up. He's gonna talk to us. I already know it. 
Long sniff. <sighs> Smells so good in here. Friends 3 Eva, Nora Kim. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way! Okay. Sounds good. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll just have to search the phone without her. What can we do? I'm not like you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I actually don't. Fucking weirdo. Order number 27. Folks are right here. Thanks, man. We eating? Oh, we're eating here. All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. I'm gonna eat cheese pizza first. Oh damn, this pizza slaps. He looks a little too old to be saying that, honestly. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Damn, she be eating with that aggressiveness right there. Aggressive eating. I'll be hearing that shit in my dreams. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Better eat that crust, girl. What the fuck. Honestly, I thought, damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I need a tire if I was hungry enough. Come on. But eat, what? But eat someone else's tires. What? Fair enough, but eat someone else's tires. We've still got a bit of driving to do. Hey there, my friends. I, I, let's be, let's be kind. Hello there. I saw y'all pull up driving in that nice old truck. That's right. Are you watching? Pulls in and taking notes? That's right. Not to be a bother or anything. But I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going in the same direction. Don't mind if I hit you right with you? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church bump. Twice as nice. What do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down the snowy road? I don't I don't know. I'm not sure it's not my car. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry. We will give you a ride, but there's no space. You know what? Stranger danger? You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Sorry. You went too kind, are you? Unkind people meet a kind self. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired, that's all. Hey, get the fuck out of here, bitch. I was trying to be kind and be like, hey, there's no room. Like, we're trying to go somewhere. But that was weird. Didn't even order anything. I feel bad for the guy. After all these years, it's still the same old heart. That pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. Uh. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you know, funny enough, I can't really burp. I try, I can't do it. Can't do it. Uh. Let's see what she said. What, bitch? Okay, she just. Damn, finished the same time as me? I swear I saw him with the whole last slice. Damn! Holy, that was good. Alright then, are you ready to hit the road? <coughs> Thank you. Maybe you can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see, if my GPS is right, should we go on out and give me the keys? Alright, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive the part of the way home? I'm gonna drive so we can get so you can get a break. Take a break while I drive. Damn! I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. 
You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get the first choice of bedrooms when we get, or if we get there. Whatever. Give me the fucking keys. Speed racer driving right here. Let's go. Finally, I get to drive. Better play some bangers. I was playing some nice chill music on the way over here. You better play something with the, with the, uh, uh, uh. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set oh, the mood. Shit. So here's a track oh, that'll make you oh. feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere. By who? Stay tuned. To be sincere by someone. Dear people, they don't know how to drive these days. Hey. Oh shit! I was trying to fix my uh. I crashed my truck. Did you really? Jesus. Did that go? Went the wrong way. Yeah, let's turn that shit off. I should turn it back on. I was a cop. Yeah, let's turn that shit off. We're good. We are a okay. Did GPS say anything, or am I just driving, like, just to drive? It's 35 miles an hour. I'm probably going like 50. I don't know. I can't really see. Oh, mass truck. Should be going faster. Right there? Nah. We ain't even in a town or nothing. Oh, that was a stop sign. I drove past our cabin at first. And this should be it. I think you're just going to keep driving there. Yeah, shut up. It was a very cold night. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Why is the music so sinister now? Door was locked. Had a key. Grab the key from the lockbox. Forgot what he said. 5176. Slides open. Five. One. Seven. Six. Hell yeah. House keys. Let's go. Hop in. Alright, I'll go in first. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Now that you House was cozy and furnished. What groceries? But what groceries is he talking about? Is it these? Got some lettuce? Who the fuck gets lettuce? I guess for like some burgers or something. I'm such a plain dude. I don't need all that. Whew, sorry about that, Harp. You okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. No worries. Well, damn, what the fuck is he telling me? Hang on, I really need to pee. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. 
Let me take a piss now. Smell alone told me pizza really didn't number on mic. Jeez. Escape the text for it. Hi, we checked in. Nobody in any weird places, right? I hate to admit it, but I didn't wash my hands after being fuck. You feeling a little better after the drive? Much better now. I'm good. Want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Thanks. All right, let's let's see over here. What's back here? What's back here? This is the back. Oh, okay. It's a little weird. This living room is bigger than my apartment. I don't like that too much. A Ouija board. Now, hell no, put that shit back. What am I doing? I ain't grabbing that shit. Hey, close this fucking door, too. Must be. Uh, you think. You guys are crazy. Backyard looks crazy. Fuck. There's a shed back here. I don't really like that. I don't like that too much. This guy really must like fishing. It can be fun. Bait and fishing part pairing knowledge. We're gonna have to go fishing? I hope not. Alright, let's get out of here. Move, bitch! Damn! Blocking the fucking door. Stay inside there. I don't like how he looks. I really don't. I have a weird feeling about this guy. It's over here. It's just like a closet or something. Oh, that's a downstairs. It's getting really cold. This is a fucking basement, dog. Are you being serious right now? A totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your old cartilage dorm. Are you sure? I don't smell the Long Beach Kush from here. What? I couldn't open the door. <sighs> I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see. No access to guests. It's either him or somebody else. Somebody come get her. He's dancing in the basement. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's see what's up. Small ass closet. Don't you dare come inside here. The fuck? Oh. Bitch ass cross eyed ass. Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 no. We're not a couple. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect everyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, remember, he was, been on the fits here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it, you know. They say treat your gets like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, did you get closer, bitch? Now that you folks are here, let me show you around in my home sweet home. I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Host was a middle-aged man with nervous energy. His aura was not vibing. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Here's your shower. That thing that make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Great. Oh, the sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Look, Harp, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Well, until I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Like, why are you acting so normal? This fool is just in our, not our house, but like, damn. What's so nice about this bitch? Just go outside. 
Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view from the creek is beautiful. It has a great spot for fishing too. All right, folks. Let's head back in before we catch the cold here again. Where's the creek? Is that the creek? <laughs> Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. The power ever goes out, if you use this flashlight here on my right, storms like these, you never know. You might not need it. Trust me, it's always best to know where your light is. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. Where the fuck is it? Okay, there it is, right there. It is always best to know. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, folks, I see I already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. See the knob? Turn the knob for more cooling and down to cool it. But I tend to keep it low in the winter. Bill goes out of control. Speaking of the winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Going downstairs, aren't we? Oh, I thought he was gonna go over there. Uh oh. Um, nothing to worry about down here. It's the water heater and some storage stuff. If it ever starts working, just hit the button at the bottom of the pilot light. We'll fire right back up and you'll be back in business. Why does he have a. Hmm. Hey, sir, what's the deal with the room over there? Nothing. You need to unlock your iPhone first. Let's get the shit out of me. Why did it do that? Now that you two need to concern yourself with. I kind of use this business as storage. Renters don't need the space. They keep, they really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Just mind our business, that's it. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. I'd be just scared. I already know. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just joking. Yeah, real funny fucking joke, you stupid bitch. At this point, the creep meter was quietly pinging around six out of ten. Can, can you just leave? All right, folks, snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around, bitch. By the way, what was the name of the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. You got a weird ass face on you, fuck. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know what it feels like under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, in a bit. Can I lock this shit so it just stays open? That fool's just walking out. You know what? In what way? That scared me so bad. Perfect, shower with all my clothes on. This is a quick rinse. You better not pop out. All right, let's see. Interesting, he's not in here. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Ah! 
bitch. Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Plan any catches in her? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know, it's cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess it would be fun. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another road in there's another rod in the shed, so we both can give it a shot. I don't know about this. I I like that we're together, but somebody's gonna enter the house. Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. Go up for the challenge? Yes. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab the carp bait, head to the creek. Going to catch up with some carp. Harp? Don't make around with my name. So some carp. Common carp. Cheese delight, sweet corn. Alright, let's go. No way, I need to go back. Guys, it's gonna take a little minute. I'll be back. I hope those cars biting today. Yeehaw! Sounds like some Minecraft music. Literally sounds like my ending music. I don't like it. Wait, what? A bad day of fishing is still a better good day of work. What? Okay, wait. Hey, I keep that shit. Got his dumb ass. Keep that shit. Just one more carp left, you got this. Well, fucking help me. We got him. All right, looks like we got three carp. We wanna head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. I'm hungry. I don't need that shit anymore. Something definitely like the, the music is changing. Oh, is it the storm that's coming in? Is that someone up there? No. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl, throw it in ginger paste, cooking oil. Who left this shit open though? Uh, what else? Hold your horses, the fish should be right out. Wait, what the fuck am I looking for? Like, where am I looking? Bell pepper, is that what I need? I don't need bell peppers. Paprika, garlic paste, Italian seasoning, and how's the black pepper at? Salt, black pepper. Yum. What the fuck? You scared the shit out of me. Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole? While I chop these veggies on it.
I have a feeling that some shit's gonna be happening. Veggies. Now, could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. My hands are full. Thirty minutes at four hundred. Those carp are going to taste amazing. I would wait for it. I would play some board games. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Which one? Describe whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay. Let me see. In the room next to the living room. What do we hear that? Yeah, let's do this one. I'm definitely not grabbing that fucking Ouija board. I guarantee, I promise you I'm not. I'm not. Don't ever. Start this game. I need to lean left. What the fuck is it? Okay. All right, okay, wait, I can do this. I can so do this shit. you think this is? What do you think you thought? I'm gonna win. There you go. Got one. Time to channel my inner architect. Two hours later. Is definitely the I guess the harder ones that I go for the tighter it gets, pause. Man, losing to you makes me feel like a kid again. Wanna go again? Let's leave it at that for now. Play like fucking three games. That was a fun game, Harp. You really did well. Thanks, Mike. All right, the carp should be done. What? Just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. Let's do it then. I'm going to a little Airbnb. No, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I did that shit many, many times. I think a show's about to come on. Want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. To grab a plate. Me first. I have to turn on TV. Nays. This delicacy is very popular in Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first, bro, what the fuck are the we watching? After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. What was that? Take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. I was done with it. We stir fry this in Our, a pan that was a with damn fine food. Twice as good since I'm we not gonna lie. It was all right. This is gonna taste like it was really good. Make a great team, Mark. Here hey, you are. Anyways, anyway, listen. Let me check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. This is the that we're taking a break from. It's not work. We, so we gotta to inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't right. revolt against us. Do it gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, Bruh, like watching that shit is legit brain rot. That that was insane. She started hurting my head, literally. Is there anything I can do? I can't move my head or anything, guys. I'm trying to look around, be more aware of everything, you know? It's not letting me. Crazy. Heard the door close. Michael J. Carter. I think there's somebody. What? And you need my help, bitch? You're the man. I, 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 I'm right here.
bitch ass. Gotcha. What the hell, Mike? You're lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on. It's just a joke. Wanna go for the next round? Next round? I'm about to give him hide and seek. I'll get back to you for this. Well, whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. Where the fuck do I hide? I decided to hide in the basement. Why the fuck would you do that? Like, after all the freaking warnings, yo, don't hide in the basement. Don't go to the basement. Yo, it's best you stay away from the basement. One place you go is the fucking basement, idiot. In the nook under the stairs. You don't know this fucking place and this is what you do? turn to hide now. Better close your eyes and start counting. My freaking control was connected and made the whatever, whatever. Ready or not, here I come. I'm gonna find his dumbass right away. I'm the best at this shit. I'm the best at this shit. I hate that the music gets like this. Like, why is he doing this? There's no way that he hid in the basement. Gotcha. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. What? You wanna try this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swore in my life I heard something. I see this attic access to the door in here. So I have to go? Oh. Uh, huh. Fucking gosh. Oh, there's a cat. Hey, little kitty. What are you doing? Hey, it's just a cat up here. Jenny, are you okay? What was up there? Looks like you weren't the only in the house. What do you mean by that? There's just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Well, yeah. Maybe we could give her one of the carp after come and find you again. Where am I going? Cool shit in the backyard? That's actually insane. But I won't make any fucking noise. Stupid controller. playing hide and see. I always used to get so nervous. Where did he go? Oh my god. I 
Ah, there you are. You wouldn't see me. Damn, Hart. Tell me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. I'll hide it back in anyway. You'll find me and we'll go to bed. If someone fucking gets me out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right here, nine, here I come. Okay, let's check down here first. Inside here, no inside here. We gotta gotta take out all the downstairs first before before anything, huh? I'm hearing like a dun dun dun. What is that? Wait, what was it? He could be all the way up, like up upstairs in the attic. Ah! What the fuck? What's going on? What happened? Oh, hey there. Why the hell are you here again? Rick, why are you back? Why the hell are you here again? Fixing the faucet, you got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. I'd imagine I don't... Jeez, let's get the shit out of me. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple of minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, yeah, it must have been the old, old lady, remember? <laughs> Looks like, uh, look, we need to go to bed now. You think maybe we can fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. You can't handle that? It's your problem, not mine. You know what? You folks don't like me fixing the faucet? I'll leave it I'll leave it to you to do it. Don't call me if it starts leaking again. I'm down. Yeah. Look at the house, like the hell? Fool really thinks that we're okay with this. Like who would be? Thank you. People, if you're ever like this, it's like, oh, this is mine. Like, yo, you could get out. Like, bro, put yourself in their shoes. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. This is about the time I would think about getting rest. Let's get up. What are we getting up? Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Oh. Are, are you still awake? Obviously. Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. You mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. The storm is starting to get really bad. I 
can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Hope Nora's okay. Yeah, it's really getting pretty bad. I think that Nora's out there all the time. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm nearly safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? It's literally exactly how I thought I'd get away with going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. You shouldn't have just barged in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, and I'm frustrated. Me too. We really sleep now, Mike. It'll help the we both get some sleep. Why don't you come sit with me, Sydney? Why is he acting all fucking weird? Harp, you know. I've missed this. Us, just talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. I do remember it. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping they can happen again. Oh Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. What you say? Guys? I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Let's go. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, we can't. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mike. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just need to settle in and I'll help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. That's it. Bye. Leave me alone, bro. But that means I'm staying alone. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. You really feel like we have to. I really don't want this fool to pop in, but he is. I know he is, like a thousand percent. Nothing I can do about it. Hey, why don't you get some rest? While I'm gone, are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, North probably freaking out more than you right now. Probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. You blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I didn't need one. I'll give him a hug. I'll give him a hug, you know? It seems like sweet dreams get some sleep. Drive safe. I lock this shit? Fuck it. I'm going straight upstairs to get some better uh, what to get some rest. Lock this shit too, bro. Fuck it. <sighs> okay, hopefully it's morning. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and needed me more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. One hour later. Of course. Oh my god, someone's at the front door. Yeah. Are 
instrument was horrific. You have any idea what time it is, bitch? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on the door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was kinda on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You're not coming in, end of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. Look, buddy, look. I'm a woman. I'm. Look, at, you're just asking for, like, hell, I don't know you. I should have known you'd be as big of a bitch as you were back in the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. Looks like you're still unkind. Get out and I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself, bitch ass. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming for you leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Yeah, sure. Sure, buddy, sure. I think I'm scared. The manner of the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Just going back to bed? I have to get some sleep. After all that, she's able to go back to sleep. Crazy. Crazy. At least take a knife or something. Was that? There was something at my window. At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Skip to test Rick. Rick, sorry to bother you. Being on the door threatened me. Would you please come down since you live so close? I don't want to leave, but I am. Okay. Thing in my room. Bitch! Again? Is it Rick? It is Rick. What the hell is going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Yeah, I came as quick as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Why oh, you got small ass hands like this? Look at that. You look like you have small ass hands. Where are you going? By the way, where's your friend? The guy was here with you. Should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Why are you looking around, bitch? like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. I 
I didn't feel safe opening the door, bitch. I don't feel safe right now. Oh no, I'm dead. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends, they're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's okay. Who are you? What did you just say? This is my fucking house and I'll leave when I want to. Leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone leaving is my house, it will be one of us. What? What the hell's going on here? I fell off the map. Are you being serious? Is this really a thing? You need to leave right now. This is my fucking house and I'll leave whenever I want to. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go right here. Oh, you fuck. Oh, fuck you, Nora. You fucked me. Do I go upstairs? Do I, is that where I go? Wait, wait. I have to go here. I have to. Can't see shit. I can't see anything.
I, I don't know what to do. There's nothing like, I can talk. So we're good. And so your boy's finishing up editing and he notices that this little part, the ending, didn't record. So, I'm sorry y'all. I tried. I could play it all again, but honestly the ending is just him not being found and her saying that she like explained everything to the cops. You know, we, we got through all the scary parts and all the suspenseful parts, so... Yeah, I'm editing right now and I found that out. I'm just as shocked as you are. I hope you liked the video though. I appreciate all of you. Now listen to um, Past Jose say all the thank yous and stuff. I love you. Great game, great everything about it, always. It was a banger. That first, first jump scare really scared the crap out of me. Um, all the others still scared. It's just a great environment, great game all around. I love every single bit about these games. And I can't wait to be playing more. If you guys liked it, drop a like down below. Comment how much you liked it. I appreciate all of you guys. We're at 550 subscribers. Let's keep getting it up like you saw the intro. Love you guys. And I, I want this community to grow. That being said, and as always, see you guys in the next video.